Hi everyone, Miss Bray here. Today I'm going to take you through a little ball handling workout that can be done inside or outside. All you need is a ball and a little bit of space. So we're going to start with a fingertip warm up, going passes back and forth, and then circling around our body in one direction and then in the other. You can work your way from your head to your waist and down to your knees. Again, making sure we pause and change directions. And then we're going to finish with some single leg circles where we take a little lunge step back and circle the ball around both legs and then one single leg. Next thing we will do is just a little athletic stance, heads up dribbling. 10 dribbles with one hand and then cross it over, switch your stance and 10 dribbles with the other hand. Always want to make sure we have our off hand out protecting the basketball and our eyes up so that we can see the court. Now we'll go a little push-pull dribble. So our push-pull is our back and forth dribble, making sure we change the direction of our hand and swing the ball like a pendulum back and forth. We can then do that in front of our body. And of course, whatever we do with one hand, we're going to switch and do with the other hand. So we'll go push-pulls on the other side of our body and then in front with the opposite hand. Now we'll go to single leg circles. So you'll take one hand and circle the leg with just those nice low dribbles with a single hand, and then you can switch it over to the other hand. Now again, circling nice low finger pad dribbles around and back. And you can transition this directly into a figure eight dribble where we go around behind one side and then pass through the legs to the other hand. You can do this with four dribbles as you see here, or you can take a few more smaller dribbles to do your figure eights. Once you've gone through in a backwards direction, you can switch and go through forwards. Next one is a one hand in front of the body, one hand behind the body, drop and catch. And you can progress to not letting the ball drop and to just going passes front and back while you switch your hands. Following that, we can go into the monkey dribble. So monkey dribble is two taps in front of the body and then two taps behind. So if you can get the ball dribbling in a single spot, okay, and then simply move your hands from the front to the back, it makes this one a little bit less tricky. Now we're on to the between the legs progression. Again, a nice controlled athletic stance dribble with one foot in front of the other. You can start by taking three or four dribbles and then passing the ball between the legs. And as you get more comfortable, reduce the number of dribbles that you're taking and eventually get into a scissors, which is a continuous between the legs dribble. Now I'm gonna pick up a second basketball. So this is challenging us to work both hands at the same time and to have equal control on both sides. We'll start with a low dribble and move the ball up a little bit higher to the shoulders. Anytime you're dribbling with two basketballs, it's important that you really dribble the ball hard and push it into the floor. Sometimes one will be more inflated and one less, but if you dribble it hard, that will correct for any difference. And now I'm going alternate or piston dribble, dribbling one ball and then the other. Next, we can try a two ball push pull. So again, the push pull is the one where we go from the front of our body to the back, making sure the ball gets all the way behind us. And then we can try a two ball crossover. So crossing both balls from one hand to the other in front of our body. Now we'll drop one of the ball and do some crossover variations. So whenever we're doing the crossover, one of the things you wanna think about is having good hand control over the ball. So if we keep contact with the ball as much as possible, will have the greatest control. If you watch carefully, my hand really doesn't come off the ball except for when I'm passing it from one to the other. So I'm doing some inside outside crossovers, some in out drop tap. Okay, really challenging that finger pad control. And again, trying to keep the head up all the time. Now we're gonna do some combos, some inside outside dribble, which is that single hand crossover and cross back some crossovers, some between the legs, and some crossing behind the back. 
So this is just working on varying those skills that we've worked on, okay, mixing them up, keeping good control of the basketball, both with our right hand and our left hand. And you can try to establish a pattern if you'd like, or you can keep that random. Next, we'll go a little behind the back progression. So the behind the back progresses from our, whenever we're working on a push pull, again, super important that we get the ball all the way behind our body so that we don't hit ourselves in the back as we make it come through. So again, you can start with several dribbles in between and work into continuous behind the backs. And we're gonna finish off with a little seated two ball dribble challenge. So you're gonna get yourself into a comfortable position on the floor. You can work on dribbling further away from your body and then closer in. You can vary your height, high to low. And then you can work on dribbling the basketballs both inside and outside of your legs. Okay, this one really challenges your control to be able to move both of the basketballs at the same time and not hit either your leg or the other ball.